everybody. Happy Wednesday. This is Whitney Labrie and today I've got a really special haul for you. I've got this bucket of miniatures. All the items you're about to see can be purchased on my eBay website at Whitney Labrie Events. So the other thing I thought that we would do today that might be kind of fun is answer, I want to answer some of the questions, the top questions that I get a lot on my haul shows. So of course the first question, the most popular question that I get is where do I get all of my miniatures in my hauls? And the easy answer really is everywhere. I look for them everywhere. I go to flea markets, garage sales, uh, antique stores, um, estate sales. I find them online. I find them on Marketplace. I find them, of course, on eBay um, and other auction type of websites. And then sometimes uh, I they're given to me as well. Where did I get today's bucket from? Well, someone owed me some money. Some gangsta like that. Just kidding, I'm not a gangster. So not only did I get this bucket, but they also, it also came with this other like little basket of, of stuff too. So I thought we would take a look at both of these things today and we'll of course get started with that. And then I, this looks like a lot of just uh, little tiny treasures and I'm kind of looking forward to trashing this bas this old basket. It's in pretty rough shape so anyway and i don't know how long the stuff was in here because some of it looks pretty dirt dirty pretty dirty this piece right here looks like it is a hoosier cabinet i'm guessing it's made by town square miniatures it's cool because it has the full the pull out cutting board it's in good shape it's not very old the hardware and everything seems to be in really good shape nothing inside Good condition. Love this type of piece because, of course, you can make it look really artisan if you want to. And, of course, add a ton of really fun stuff. But, you know, actually, that one drawer seems to be a little off. It just needs probably to be adjusted as far as, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little crooked. I think the hardware just needs to be adjusted. Next piece is uh, this ice box. And I'm guessing uh, yeah, they're pretty close to the same finish. It's nice. It has the icebox top hatch on it, which a lot of times is missing on these. Icebox looks really good on the inside. But then the refrigerator has the shelf, refrigeration portion, and then the, the bottom tray. Oh, with the cobweb. You know, a little added bonus feature. Also guessing Town Square miniatures. So I should probably get my magnifying glass. Well, now I can see better. Anyway, I always have to use this. Obviously, I'm vision impaired. So here we have a sofa. Oh, this has a different symbol on it that I've seen. So you can see it. it's got a plaid, very dark. I, that's definitely blue. Um, plenty of little hairs and stuff on it too. I'm guessing that this person probably had a a dog or a cat, so I'm gonna definitely need to um, do a lot of vacuuming of this piece, but I'm not seeing any staining. And the piece itself is in really good shape. Oh, it, this is the match. Oh yeah, this is way better. The other one was just <laughs> missing, how funny. Okay, I see the wings. So this is Concord. I guess I should have probably known that. <laughs> Great condition, uh, just got a little some fuzzies on it and um, dust. But guess what? I don't charge extra for dust, so we're good. Um, a cabinet here in dark walnut, a little bit of dust. Nice bookcase area here. Let me just, sometimes you gotta check and see if you have missing things. Like it looks like this might have had drawers in it right here. Um, but a piece like this, you know, you could easily make it into a bookcase and cabinet, you know, so not all is lost on that, right? So still a nice shape, has some nice little details up here. Um, but you know, we're only at the top of the bucket, so who knows, we may find the drawers. <laughs> all right, just a nice corner cabinet. I like this sort of cabinet with this extra little fun niche at the top, little rounded niche. 
and let's see if I swear to God that this is supposed to happen in every haul where I pull at least one drawer pull or door pull right out of the freaking door. All right, let me set one back in easily. <laughs> I should probably have like a little file or something that I use instead of my fingernails, but there we are. Um, so anyway, looks great. Walnut finish, good condition. Again, just a little dirt. A little dirt. A little dirt never hurt anybody. I know, I'll tell you, all these hauls, my hands end up looking disgusting. Disgusting. Just a dressing mirror here. Nice little dressing mirror. Everything is in order. It has the pivots, the pivoting nails. Um, again, no name brand, but so far this all looks like Concord. Town Square, probably a mixture of Shackman in it as well. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, okay. This is a really nice baby crib. Look at that. Got the red velvet insert. That is really pretty. All the spindles are in good order. See if that little the base doesn't pop out but you could easily if you didn't like that color just put in some um, other bedding on the very top that would easily hide it because it's got a little bit of a lip down in there so you wouldn't even see the red poking through although the red isn't bad it isn't bad at all just obviously the whole thing needs dusting i have seen this piece but i actually haven't ever had this piece in my collection so this is really kind of fun I'm guessing this is the pillow. The pillow came with it. So that's mine. It's just open on one end. I'm assuming that goes with that. Unless we've got some other pieces in here that have the red velvet. All right, an end table. A little round end table there. In the walnut finish also. So I'm wondering if we've got a whole living room set. That would be good. It's a nice living room set. Well, let's see. Uh, it's a little, it's a little crooked. Can you see that? Like it's got an angle to it. Let's see. There we go. Okay, just need to be pushed back in. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's what we want. We want good condition, pre-owned furniture, right? Aw, want, want. Speaking of good condition, so this one, this one's Town Square Miniature, and it's missing the rocker part of the rocking chair, if you can see there. And then the arm as well. Okay. We've got a little dining table set. The classics table. You know, just a regular standard little kitchen table, three piece. Uh, another side table. It's a standard little walnut finished side table. We've got that. Here is a dressing table. It's a really cute little dressing table here. These little drawers, they don't come out. They kind of look like they would come out. Ah, they do! All right, look, tiny little drawers. All right, we'll push that back in. <laughs> I just feel better that they open. All right, we've got a little pineapple decal right up there at the top. Uh, the mirror is in good shape from the back. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing any damage or glue backs. Yeah, it's dusty. And then all the drawers, of course. And that one piece of hardware. Next piece, sink. With counter and... Why do I still keep trying to open things? Um, of course, the cabinets there. Missing one little spout up here. Missing the little spout, but everything else. You know what? That's interesting. That's not. That actually, I think, is like a plastic top, which it might be better because a lot of times I'll see the same piece, but it's got that ceramic one. And I don't know what it was about that set, but a lot of times the porcelain top kind of comes in and it. I don't know if it if the glue or the wood 
begins to uh, contract and expand that it starts pushing that porcelain up and i see a lot of them that have issues where they're lifting off of the top of this same style sink so i don't know if this one makes it better but it's it's in way better shape as you can see that it's not lifting at all aside from it missing the water spout all right here's a little almost like a slightly bowed or bombay nightstand or end table Town square miniature, two drawer, very cute, walnut finish. And then we have another three drawer nightstand, also town square miniature. Nice piece, no damage. I, we've talked about town square miniature in the past. I'm not, you know, it's not like an incredibly high end furniture, but it's great inexpensive pieces for people who are starting out people who um, really like to customize pieces themselves and make them their very own because you can just take an inexpensive piece and then go crazy with it you know you've heard me talk about that before in other hauls um but you know this is another great little four drawer chest that you know you could sand down easily and just refinish and make it whatever color you want um, i like a lot of the painted furniture pieces so you can see that and then the town square miniature symbol on the bottom you know dusty of course here is a little coat rack little coat rack right there and walnut finish not in bad shape has all its pegs so here's the there's broken a little it's the faucet that goes with the sink but it's actually missing the spout portion and the top so broke but this is cute a little baby potty and it's got the actual pot inside the little chamber pot thingy which is nice that it has that because those are usually missing but now i see why that it actually is not missing because it is kind of in there really good which of course is why it's not lost anyway also town square miniature walnut finish some beds Let's see, we've got a twin, is it two twins or is it a bunk bed? Uh, it is a bunk bed. Oh my God, I, <laughs> did you guys have bunk beds as kids? So I, I luckily had my own room, but my sisters had bunk beds in their room. And we used to, I mean, a bunk bed was basically a treasure trove of imagination, right? We would cover it completely up and we, this would be like our house. It would be a ship. We would have, it would be a tree house. Um, and we were always jumping off the top, uh, <laughs> much to our mother's dismay, you know, and um, of course we fell off of it a couple times anyway but we had a blast so this is a really cute little set decent little floral pattern on it not in horrible condition just a little on the dusty side but um you know again you can alter this and make it whatever your own, whatever you want it to be it's nice that these are easily removable so you can put your own mattresses in and bedding i don't know if it has a ladder but that would be a cute addition to have a little ladder on the side you know add a family pet to one of these beds yeah super cute a lot can happen with this piece here is a wardrobe and it does not have a dressing bar inside it just has shelving so this would be a great linen closet you can use it as a linen closet as well very cute also walnut finish everything's intact the integrity is there There's a slight, slight issue right there where there's like a little piece of the, it just needs like a stain pen and you probably would not even notice it. All right, we've got a little spinning wheel with um, the cotton ball right there. And I don't know if that was the original pull, but oh, maybe it is. It looks like it might be original. Anyway. Every time I see these, I think of Rumpelstiltskin immediately. I don't know why, I just do. I will always think of Rumpelstiltskin when I see these. I should make it like a little gold, a gold little ball right here. <laughs> anyway, am I the only one? I don't know. 
And then we've got a curio cabinet. And of course, this is Town Score Miniatures. Um, yes. Open smooth. Aside from it being um, a little on the dirty side, it just, uh, it's in good shape. It's in good shape. And these are classic. Yeah, it's in good shape. There's no like cracks or anything. It doesn't really feel loose either. So, you know, even though this was all in a bucket, I'm actually surprised at the condition that it's not the, not the worst. All right. And then this is a belter bed here. And you can see that the there's issues here with this mattress that it almost it has to, looks like it has like accumulated some moisture. It needs to be replaced. And here is the pillow also that goes with it. So you can kind of see. I don't know if you would. I mean, I, I guess you could try to clean it, but that mattress is in there pretty good. I mean, honestly, I'd want to replace it. Um, but the piece, you know, it's got a little bit of rub marks. So that would be just, I would just take a, uh, I would just take a stain pen and go over it and that's it. Okay, and another question I get a lot of is about how I price out my miniatures or how I figure out the pricing. And basically it just boils down to the fact that I just do a lot of research. You know, um, on pieces like this, most of these were not, are not incredibly um, rare pieces by any means. And so it'll be super easy for me to locate the pricing on these. But a lot of times I will obviously do my research on eBay and see what prices have or see what items have sold for recently. I certainly don't want to be the highest price item. I don't want to be the cheapest price item. You know, I need to also be very respectful of other eBay sellers and where they're pricing their items because the last thing I want to do is devalue these items and upset other sellers who are trying to make a full living off of their eBay sales. For me, my eBay site or my eBay store actually supports my YouTube channel because I don't make really anything off of YouTube. Um, despite, I think a lot of people feel like, you know, um, there's, a, there's a lot to be money. There's a lot of money to be made on YouTube, which certainly there is. I am not anywhere near that at all. You know, I mean, I dream of that. I mean, a girl can dream, can't she? Dream. Um, but that's how one thing kind of helps me do another thing. I actually do have a full-time job that I enjoy and I do that obviously full-time. <laughs> uh, so that's how I price out my items. I'll make sure that I look and see what they have sold for recently as well because something that may be really valuable today, in the next six months it could change certainly. Um, artisan stuff, when I get really nice pieces that are one of a kinds, I do a little bit more research on that. I try to find as much as I can out on the artists themselves, uh, see if they're still around or not. Obviously that's going to make a difference and how much of their product is still available. And then I'll always reach out to friends who are in the industry that can also help me with that. You know, obviously yeah, I can't know everything about every artist. Um, although I wish sometimes I was like Matrix and you could just download it and I would know everything. That would be amazing, but obviously that's not how that works. So, um, so basically research is the answer, is, is the short answer. <laughs> All right, so I think we're actually at the end of this bucket. I'd hope there had been a little bit more cute treasures that were a little bit more original, let's say, or distinctive, <laughs> but I didn't see. But I do have, we do have this other, newspaper piece that has some of the broken stuff that we were looking for and the drawers to that other piece that I thought might be in there which is pretty sure this is this piece all right that's cool hey so we don't have to make this into a bookcase it's actually a chest of drawers with um a cabinet attached so yay <laughs> And then this is the rocking chair pieces. So we have those that can be repaired, which is nice. And then there's the little water spout, but I think that's not really worth the repair. You might as well just buy um, a new water faucet for that piece. All right, so hopefully um, there's a little bit more fun stuff. So we've got a whole bunch of little littles. I've got a keepsake miniature. This is a great, these are bags, you know, the little general store bags we've got sugar and flour soups cute 
and uh, I always like to see where they bought the stuff. This came from a store called Ben Franklin. And I've actually come across a few store, a few Ben Franklin items. I don't know this store. Do you know this store? I don't think it's around anymore. But anyway, here is a teapot with lid. It's just like the speckleware, the blue speckleware. Well, a lot of dust. Gross. Let me drink my coffee before it gets in it. I don't like a lot of amoebas in it. So there's that. We've got a little lamp here. These are fiber craft. Both of these are the fiber craft um, miniatures. Also bought from Ben Franklin's. We've got another miniature. Uh, this is just a water pitcher with the bowl. You know. More spackleware, metal pots with lids, design land. And where'd they buy this one? Oh, this is so funny. So this one came from Larry Ann Small Wonder. Um, but so her store has been around for 40 years and I can tell by the label. This is probably like old school Larry Ann's like maybe even from the 80s. That's neat. <laughs> That's fun. That's probably when the Ben Franklin store was open to be honest. All right, what do we got here? We've got a Fibercraft coffee grinder. Pretty cool. We've got a keepsake miniature, just a little washing board. It's kind of neat to find all this stuff in the packaging. We've got the actual wash tub, which would be great with that little board. You can see where somebody had some ideas here, right? That they were gonna be putting some cute stuff together. Maybe we need to, to, to make that happen for them. All right, here is an old school metal iron. That's a nice one too. It's got the little wooden handle on it. Just so cute. Good detail on that one. We've got a country treasure. I think I had this mirror as a kid. It is not a toy according to the bat packaging. So you've been warned. All right. We've got, oh, these are the little burner tops for an old stove. You can kind of see them there. Hard to see in the packaging. The light really reflects off of it, but we have those. We have a another coffee grinder. This one is in red. Ugh, this stuff, these packages are dirty. Your hands are getting filthy. More spackleware in blue. These are the Design by Design Land. This one is um, the like the plates <clears throat> and the bowls. And then what else? We've got a little miniature porcelain tea set. That's not if no, this has ever been open. Let's see. Oh, oh it's a side opener. <laughs> All right, and yeah, it's never been opened. Oh, that's cute. It's got the pink roses on it. I like this set. That's nice. Very cute. All right, and then the rest, let's see. That's some hidden stuff. We've got cast iron, coal pot right there, and a little pan. And I think these are probably accessories to one of those old school, like Queen Mary stoves the big uh, cast iron pot one. And so I obviously don't see that. Oh, here's another coffee grinder. A red one, just like the one we just saw. Here is a little set, uh, a wire basket with three milk cans inside of it. And then another of the um, vintage lamps with the gold with the hurricane top on it, the frosted hurricane top. All right, and then it looks like somebody's plans here. Hey. Oh, hey, this is kind of fun. What do you know? So this is someone's dollhouse that they were building. Oh man, I'll tell you. I'll show you these, hold on. Okay, so here's the house. All right, I've got the house from all views. All right, so here is the, um, the dollhouse. The pictures are in this basket. It's really cute. I love that 
I have these. I don't see any markings, but this is a close-up of the kitchen. I would have loved to have had those pieces in this lot, I'll tell you. Those metal, if you can see them, yeah, they're nice. Those, uh, that washer, I actually had that washer. It was just missing the inter internal little um, hose. It was missing the internal hose, and I did sell it as is, but it was a really neat piece. Very cool. So anyway, let me see if there's any other details that are kind of nice. This is a well-built dollhouse. Um, you can, I like the way that they did the attic. You see that? It's pretty cool. And then uh, look at the little tiny under staircase door right there. And I'll tell you, they really thought it through because if you look really close, you can see there's wallpaper in there. <laughs> so well planned out. Someone was really thinking ahead. And I, um, it makes me wonder if this um, dollhouse ever... That's the bathroom. I'm looking to see if any of the furniture here is inside here, but I don't see any of it. Anyway, beautiful farmhouse. Um, the rest of this basket just looks like, um, like old glues and stains and varnishes. Um, what's this? The paint for the hobbyist. Builder's Choice paints. Um, I do have a couple wood pieces here. Ooh, yuck. There's like, ugh. old, some, some nails and stuff. This is the kind of stuff I will probably go through because, not that, these little pieces are fabulous for your other your other craft projects. And look at that. Oh man, look at those little tweezers. Those are precision, precision tweezers right there. That was worth the whole lot, you know. So anyway, a couple trim pieces. Hey, you might see me pull this out in one of my other episodes where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna grab some old trim pieces. This is what I'm talking about right here. All right. Oh, look, a little shell, random. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's it. I, I wouldn't say that this was an amazing haul. I would just say that this was um, kind of a fun bucket of furniture. And now it's all about me getting this stuff online and getting it to those of you who are interested in purchasing it. So, of course, I'll clean everything, make sure it looks nice and, and pretty for you, and pop that on the eBay website. All right, so if this is your first haul with me, then the important thing to know is that all of the furniture that you saw here today and any of the smalls will be posted on my eBay website for you to just jump right on over and purchase this and any other treasures that you might find in my store. The last question that I wanted to answer today is uh, a question that I get quite often too, and that's what do I, how do I store all this stuff and where do I put it? So you can see behind me all of my little cubbies. And basically what I do is after the haul show, I will clean everything up, make any repairs if I need to. Uh, although sometimes I just sell the items as is. Um, and then I photograph everything and then I will organize it right into rooms like children's rooms, dining room, kitchen. And then I just put it in the coordinating bin so that I can easily locate it once you've purchased it. And then that's basically it. So those are the top three questions that I get asked during my video hauls. So it wasn't the most amazing haul that I've ever had, but certainly I am always on the lookout. Hope that you enjoyed today's video haul. I'm hoping to get a little bit more vintage items for our next video haul. We shall see. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time.